Hey, it's MK and I am here with another Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches with you guys. And today's sketch, it was created by Deb Tallbroad. Now that is her Facebook group name um, instead of her real name. I'm not sure she wants it out there in the real world. I'm also combining this with a cool color craze combination for you guys today. So I've picked out a couple of pieces from my... Uh, February cruise kit. So we went on a cruise in February um, to what the Western Caribbean. And so I put together this kit. I have um, a thing of the sketch. So that way I always have um, like a little picture of the sketch handy so I don't have to worry about anything. I've got some stickers from the cruise kit that I bought on the ship. I also have a couple photos. Every day I got up super uber early, walked the boat, and then I took pictures of the sunrise. So I've got some gorgeous sunrise of every day. I promise you guys I am not scrapbooking the same sunrise every day. Plus I have this wayfinder that um I took, I tried to take pictures of every day so that way I knew what day it was and it was almost like the beginning of every day is going to have a sunrise picture along with the wayfinder. But the first couple days I don't have those um, pictures. Actually, I think I only missed day one. So I also have a bunch of scraps from 49 and Market Sunkissed collection. I've got a white scrap of white daisy cardstock. No, it's not a scrap. It's a full sheet of white daisy cardstock. Um, this foundation paper, which is paper number one from the Sunkissed. A couple scraps, these scraps of Starburst, also from uh, one of the Sunkissed or Sunburst papers from 49 and Market. And then um, I also have one other thing that I forgot to blah about. Um, but I'm going to try to put the Sunburst together uh, the way that it was supposed to be. And in my brain, I remember it differently than what it actually was on the paper. But then after <laughs> I do this hot mess, um, not, not going to lie, after I do this exercise, I change my mind and realize that Deb's design goes at a diagonal. So I'm only going to do the left page of her sketch. I'm not really doing all of the double pages. So I'm only doing the left page. And from this, um, I realized that her design goes in a diagonal. So that's where I decided to make my bursts go. Is my bursts are going to go at a diagonal from the left corner down into a diagonal on the right corner. Now I am outlining all of my little bursts here is because I want to add some inking onto this layout. However, I don't know where I want to ink and I don't want to under ink, if that makes any sense. I don't want to make the ink blob too small because then I have to add more once I start adding everything on. And that's super uber hard to do, right? So I'm going to go ahead and draw out where I want my photos, even though there's no photo mats on them yet. I want to draw out where I want my bursts and all that stuff. And then I'm going to take this in. Now, this is mustard seed, which I thought at the time was a really good match to the yellow that I thought was in the photo of our color craze. Now, truth be told, I have these little color craze color combinations in thumbnails, like microscopic little thumbnails in a little calendar that I printed off. I didn't, I didn't print them big um, so I could get final details and things like that. So instead of it being orange, I thought it was yellow. So I'm doing a yellow and a blue with a little bit of green mixed in um, layout for you guys. So that is my bad that I really didn't notice that it was orange. So I'm doing yellow. All right. So now I'm going to add a little bit of water, which I, I didn't even need to do this step, but it gives me a really great excuse to go ahead and um, put everything off to the side uh, while I do my photo mats. Excuse the traffic outside, a bunch of big trucks decide to want to go over. In fact, actually the buses are on route. My children will be home in a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and put um, all my photos on this photo mat. I just realized I'm doing four by six photo mats and I haven't even trimmed my photos down yet. <laughs> go me. So <laughs> I'm going to do that. And then um, I have my wayfinder printed at three by four just because it doesn't need 
need to be a four by six and it definitely doesn't need to be a, the star of the show. It actually probably could have been printed at a two by three. Um, but I do like reading all the information. It tells us where we are at, whether we're at sea or at a port. It tells us if, um, you know, how fast we're going, depending on when I actually get time to take the picture. Sometimes it was at zero because we were docked all day long and I didn't take it soon enough during the day um, before we actually docked. So just different types of things. It tells us what the temperature is um, outside, whether we're at sea or again at port. Um, it tells us all different kinds of things, which I thought was very cool for, you know, a numbers person like myself, right? I love all that type of information and whatnot. Now that my uh, layout has dried, and like I said, you guys won't even see the fact that I added that water in there once I am done adding everything else. But I know now that I am going to be adding everything at the diagonal because that is the way that the design is made on the sketch. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up putting on these little, I don't know what they're called, bursts. Yeah. So these were the negative parts of the paper that I did not want um, in the original design that I created. And then, of course, um, I... Don't ever throw anything out until I am done playing with a collection and I'm ready to put it away. That's when I go through all of my papers and all of my scraps and see which ones, you know, am I going to need? Which ones am I not going to need? Things like that. And the reason I do that is because you never know when you want to do a very small cluster um, up in the corner or in between uh, two pictures on the middle of a page, something like that. And so you, instead of cutting into a 12 by 12 layout, you might, or a 12 by 12 paper, you might have that same scrap somewhere else from the paper that you already cut into. So I usually wait until I am completely done with how I want, you know, this kit um, or playing with this kit and I'm ready to incorporate it back into my stash before getting rid of scraps like this. Um, and I had no clue I was going to even use these scraps, uh, but I thought that they were perfect for this color scheme because I just needed a little bit of yellow. And then of course I ended up bringing in a ton of um, my embellishments being yellow. So that's my bad. <laughs> And then I realized as I was editing this video and putting in the thumbnail, it wasn't supposed to be yellow. It was supposed to be orange. So that's all my bad. All right. So the original layout or sketch has the title up at the top. And I thought, well, I'm going to see what it looks like down at the bottom. And then that way I have a tiny little cluster over on the upper uh, left and then a larger cluster flowing into the title along the uh, bottom right. So that was my main design or my main idea, so that way I can keep my diagonal design, right? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and ink up my leaves. Now, I'm not going too heavy um, of ink because, one, these leaves were super delicate. Easy to pop out of their carrier sheet, but super delicate when it came to actually inking the leaves and whatnot. So um, I wanted to make sure that I just gave them a light dusting of this green. Plus, I really didn't want to overgreen my layout. That's why I thought these um, turtles were perfect as well, because when am I going to use a turtle, right? I didn't see any turtles on my vacation. Thought it would be kind of cool, but I didn't. Uh, so yeah, some of the stickers that I picked out was all aboard because we are aboard a boat. And then the other one is hashtag cruise, which I thought was kind of cool. And then the yellow one says something. I'm pretty sure it's something about sun kissed or sunshine or something because I had sunshine in three different spots. So I'm pretty sure it says something about sunshine. I just can't be sure for right now. Um, because it's too far away for me to read it. Uh, but I liked the fact that it repeated the word over and over again because I have my burst of sunshine in the background of my layout. I have the burst coming through the clouds, which I, you guys, these were picturesque, picturesque mornings every morning on this boat. It was gorgeous. I, I just could not get enough. I wanted to wake up at five o'clock every morning just to run up to the 15th or 16th deck just to see, you know, um, sometimes it was the 15th, sometimes it was the 16th. It all depended to get these photos. And then of course, actually this 
these two photos here were taken on the fifth deck where I could actually be on the, um, the racetrack where people jogged the jogging track, uh, in the back, of, in the back of the boat, um, a little ways outside of the, of the jogging track. I can't say a lot. It was just a little ways were a little bit of chairs and things for people to sit and enjoy either the sunset or the sunrise, depending on which way you're, you're traveling. Uh, and so I, I would just stop for a heartbeat um, and take my photos um, before moving on because I did actually walk the deck um, for my two miles every morning um, while being, I was a good girl while being on this boat, you guys, I really was. Now my Alaskan cruise, not so good because it was the, um, I, I never found the jogging track for one. <laughs> I never found it. Um, I, I think I know where it's at because I heard a lot of people jogging on it. Um, but uh, yeah, I it was outside and it was not very good weather outside. Um, if I'm being honest, it was windy all the time. It was just miserable. And to walk the boat, um, you know, in on the Alaskan cruise, not on this one, um, but to walk the ship was not very easy either. It didn't have a way through anywhere. It was almost like you had to go up to get across, go down to get back across. And, and yeah, so it was, I, I could never get my bearings on this, on that specific ship. I, I was lost all the time because there was no through deck, like not a single deck went all the way through from end to end, um, except for maybe 15, even though you had to walk through a restaurant. <laughs> I think that one, um, which was my deck that I, you know, lived on for 11 days. Uh, but, you know, I don't want to walk my deck. That was boring. <laughs> Plus, like I said, it was outside and it was cold. Um, so anywho, uh, I, I just, this gorgeous mornings every single morning i am looking forward to the next cruise in february of 2025 because i i just cannot wait um to wake up in the morning and get these photos again but on the eastern side of the caribbean so i just i just can't wait okay so now i decided that i'm going to just have um, my embellishment cluster down on the right and move my title up on the top of uh of my photos, just like it is in the sketch. Um, because I, I just felt like it wasn't working when I put the photos or when I put the title down below and trying to make it go with my, um, with my embellishment cluster, it just was not working. Um, I do like how I've created a linear line in the center from, um, hashtag cruise to all aboard. It feels like, it, it was on purpose. It feels like that whole line going across um, is like a band in between. And then you've got these two bursts going out from underneath it. So not intentional, I promise. It's not how I intended to um, make the layout, but it just worked that way. I definitely could have put the all aboard down below and um, in between where the turtle and the leaf is, but I did not. So my title is actually going to be Seaside uh, Sun-Kissed Sunshine, and I know it's a lot of suns going on there, um, but I just liked how it looked. I liked the little strip of the word sun-kissed. I liked all the, all the suns being in my sketch or not sketch but in my layout i've got sun kiss sunshine sunshine and then i could have sworn that yellow tag says something about sunshine um, but i just really do love the simplicity of this layout but yet um yeah it says live in the sunshine that's what that yellow tag says thank you for holding that close up so i can read that i really do appreciate that <laughs> and i just really love the repeated word of the sun, right? Because it just really emphasizes um, these photos a lot more. I did add my favorite twine in the whole wide world um, within my clusters. And that is my layout for today, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to check out Janet Fritz's channel, who is Galaxy Girl Creations here on YouTube. She is playing along with me for color craze um, on our various days that we have chosen. 
Um, both, on both of our Facebook groups, we have the calendar of what days we are playing with Color Craze um, to match what days we are doing for uh, Christy's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches. Um, so I've got both, play, uh, both Facebook groups listed down below. If you want to go check out my Facebook group or her Facebook group, feel free. Or if you want to go check out both, that would be great. Um, I also have the, 31, or the 30 Days of Sketches. I have the Facebook group, the playlist, the album, if you're already part of the, the Facebook group. That way you can just stay up to date on the album instead of trying to go and remember how to find the album or find the specific um, sketch that you're looking for uh, in the Facebook group. Because I know sometimes the Facebook group gets cluttered with a bunch of other stuff. So anyways, again, thank you so much, Deb. This was a great sketch. I had fun interpreting it and playing with it, even though I didn't add orange. Yep, my bad. Um, <laughs> it was my fault. Um, but I did enjoy the sketch very much. So thank you so much, you guys. Um, and I will check you all later. Bye. Bye.